Man's Legion flying in Eve. Well, not flying today. Been doing a lot of other things. Been uh, kind of busy in real life. Haven't had a chance to log in a whole lot into an MMO and sink in hours upon hours upon hours upon hours of gameplay. So for that, I apologize. That's why I've tried to find the time to explore other aspects of EVE that aren't as time-intensive, but certainly are equally as rewarding. Hence my interview I did last, and uh, then the new player experience. So I'm making the time I can, but I do apologize for people who are expecting me to play like five hours of EVE at once and then, you know, smash that together. Um, just don't have the time to MMO on top of other things, so... Real life, more important at the moment. For that, I apologize if that is disappointing. That being said, some people have asked me to do another e-video. They said, uh, I want to know more about your corp. I want to know more about this Zorg character. So I have the Book of Munitions open, which is where I've written all of my wonderful little scripture. And I'm going to read it to you, what I have so far. So sit back and enjoy. None may argue with smoking craters, for they have been blessed by the light of Zorg and will speak no more. As you can see, Canticles of Munitions 14.3, Greater Book of Zorg, excerpt. So, I won't read all of these, but I will tell you what little sub-book they're from. Alright, let's see. A man suffering prayed to Zorg for salvation. He was set ablaze. His smoking corpse wreathed in flame bore a white smile. It's from the Psalms of Sorrow. Truly everything must burn, even those who do the burning, for how can they bear light if they have not stood in its brilliance? Directives of Zorg. 43.5 The fury of Zorg burns through all of us, through to the core and beyond to his enemies. His wrath never wanes, his fires consume all. The Lamentation of the Burned the path of the righteous man begins when he has burned everything behind him in the future is but ash. The directives of Zorg. And yea, the people did ask Zorg for a sign of his pleasure. The sky ruptured and fell upon friend and foe alike. Above the screaming only laughter. Lamentation of the burned. The people asked for mercy, but there was but fire. The people asked for revenge. There was but fire. The people asked for reason. There was but fire. All hailed Zorg's light. There is but fire. That's the canticles of a burned man. With fire, zeal, and brothers at your shoulder, the past shall be one trodden on the backs of our enemies. Directors of Zorg. With zeal... A man sought Zorg, sword raised and heart full of fury. With anger, he purified those who did not believe. Woe be, he burned among the ashes of his foes. Zorg cares not. All must be ash. The greatest and worst of men are equal, as are all men. For what is the difference in the weight of ash? All things are as they must be, terrible and filled with pain. Woe be the foolish who believe they are getting out of this alive. Fire and hate, these are your tools. Death and pain, these are your rewards. What fools expect more? Lost are the people who seek redemption. Laughable their works. Be merry and light them aflame, for their end is joy itself. Nothing else matters. The wisest man spoke to the heavens, fists drenched in blood. He asked Zorg for guidance in smiting his enemies. The sky fell. He was smote. The lesson was obvious. Explosives and joy go hand in hand. Who can be afraid when their enemies are but smoking craters? Explosives are but one tool in the arsenal of Zorg. Anything burns, everything burns. You burn. Remember this. Two men stood at a fork in the road. One path led to the holy city. One path led to the river. One man saith to the other, Brother, let us cool our feet in the river. We are but tired pilgrims. The other man said, Praise Zorg, and lit the fuse on his explosives. 
The wise man has but one choice, that is to blaze a path. It is a calming thing to walk among the ashes of what was once troublesome and vexing. As you can see, all of the scriptures of Zorg talk about burning and explosives and fire and equally everyone dying. The reason I wrote this is because, one, I wanted to have a religion that was based entirely on scripture that isn't really clear on salvation or isn't really clear on deliverance or isn't really clear on even the nature of the deity. Other than the deity wants to burn everything and some people can have a split. Some people think Zorg is a good deity and he's, or deity, either or he's smiting the wicked and the evil. And other people think he is an evil deity, and he is smiting all. Some say he's a neutral deity, and he's just another force in the universe, destroying all. I kind of wrote it just to have fun, so people can have that split and talk about it. And I can write this really weird nebulous scripture that's all about fire and burning. It's like a larger scale or volume of work was suddenly cut apart. And all that's left are these little scriptures and little tatters of a larger book excerpts, as you can see, of the larger book. But the whole book is not anywhere to be seen. So people carry these little bits of scripture and they try to deduce what it means. Is it meaningless or is it a warning? And so I'm having fun with that. Um, so people debate that a bit. Um, but I also like this because Eve is one of the games where you can get away with this. You can start a religion in Eve you can do anything you want and if you can start a racket you can start an insurance company you can start a bank it's all in your hands and it's your choice with what to do with it so um that being said if you guys or gals want to come out and join us and eve find me i am uh, this idiot i am nikolai montag i am the cleric of zorg and if you want to find me, just message me in-game. If you want to fly in Nullsec, message me in-game. If you're a miner or an industrialist or shit, even if you're a high-sec mission runner and you're tired of doing the same damn missions and you want to actually make some real money, like, you know, plex your account, message me and Eve. I can set you up. We have a great corp out here. We have a lot of fun. We do a lot of mining, we do a lot of industry, and I think you would probably like to enjoy that. We've had capital pilots come out here who, because of their previous alliance, can't fly their capital ships because they're afraid of getting dunked, or they can't do this, or they can't do that, or they're tired of being told what to do, or they're tired of a 100% tax rate every day, or they're tired of, you know, being told to fight for something they don't own, or being told to constantly get in fleets. They're tired of being F1 monkeys. Come join our corp. We're pretty laid back. We have a lot of fun. And we're here for each other. And I don't mean that in a weird hippie way. I mean, we actually are talking to each other, helping each other out. So that's good. If you're new and you want to learn the game, Null Sex, where to learn it. Honestly, it is. I am so grateful to have so many Alpha clones have come out here and joined us and done very well for themselves. Very well. So that being said... Join our corp if you want. If not, play EVE. Give it a try. Some people are very tired of the MMOs that are playing. They want something different. EVE is that different. You don't have to pay for EVE to play it. You don't. There's a link below. You can use that to get uh, into the... It's in the description. You can use that to join the game. And if you use my link, you get 250,000 uh, free skill points. And if you upgrade to a paying account, you actually will help me out and help me get some free EVE. So I greatly appreciate that, being broke as shit. Like, I'm so poor I don't have calcium deposits. Actually, I'm pretty sure I have calcium deposits. But you know what I mean. Anyways, just wanted to say that and do that for now. Show you that, yes, I still am playing EVE. But uh, if you get tired of ship spinning, come check us out. We're quite fun. And we try to have a good time.